What's going on everyone and welcome back to another Immortals Phoenix Rising guide. Today I wanted to share with all of you some very impressive weapons you can pick up early on in the game. Now if you do happen to find this video helpful, leaving a like and subscribing is the best way to keep up to date with new videos, content, and more coming very soon. Now let's get started. So in Immortals Phoenix Rising there are plenty of weapons to choose from throughout the Golden Isle. So many in fact that it may be hard to determine which ones you should go for and where to find them. Luckily, I will share with you the 5 best weapons to get right now if you haven't grabbed them already. So starting with the Departed Shared Sword, this sword you can get very early on but gives you a huge damage buff for a number of seconds every time you perform a perfect parry. As we all know, perfect dodges and parries are essential to every single fight, especially perfect dodges being that they slow down time and allow us to dish out some incredible damage with our sword, so having a buff that increases our damage can definitely help. Fully upgraded and your sprint attacks will then generate stamina orbs. Now as far as finding the departed shared sword, you can actually find it right here on your map. Now moving on to the Tempest Axe, if you happen to find yourself in love with aerial attacks, then you'll definitely want to give this axe a try. Now when equipped you do have a chance of tripling your damage in midair with the axe which is crazy considering the axe already does so much damage already. Now consider pairing this with the Harpy Helmet and you can increase your aerial damage even more to insane amounts that allow you to easily defeat some of the bosses in the game. Fully upgraded and you can add some stun damage to that axe cleave as well. Now as far as finding the Tempest Axe, you can locate it right here on your map. Next is one of my favorite bows, the Resistant Bow, which you can get fairly easy and early on in the game. For starters, the bow cosmetically looks incredible with its purple glow all around the bow, unless of course you find a different variant that has a different glow. The perk itself allows you to inflict quite a bit of stun damage when you use charged shots and can knock back small enemies pretty easily. The increase in stun damage is great for fighting bosses, but also watching enemies fly backwards from your charged shot is rather amusing as well. Now also headshots can freeze enemies if the bow is fully upgraded. As far as finding the bow, you can actually find it right here on your map. Next we have the awesome Cyclone Sword, which similar to the Tempest, has a chance to triple aerial damage done by the sword, making it great if you just can't get enough of jumping off the ground and attacking your enemies mid-air. Fully upgraded and the sword has a chance to refill your stamina quite a bit, as you can see mine being 140% after a successful mid-air dodge. Now if you'd like to get your hands on the Cyclone, you can actually go right here on your map and then you'll be able to get that from the chest after defeating the enemies. Now last but not least is the Crystal Shadow Hammer, which has an awesome perk that freezes enemies when doing a perfect parry. Now I do find this hammer very useful for boss fights, where if you happen to get a perfect parry, you'll actually freeze them and then can dish out unlimited amounts of damage for a certain period of time. This makes it incredibly useful for fights where you have bigger and small enemies kind of grouped around to where you can freeze the harder enemies for a little bit and then allow you to kind of work on the smaller ones, get them out of the way, and then move back over to the bigger ones, so it just allows for a lot of options. Now fully upgraded and you can also add a certain percentage of stun damage with X smash which is a skill that you can actually unlock in your skill tree now as far as finding the crystal shadow hammer you can actually find it right here on your map all right everyone so those are five of the best weapons to get early on in the game i do hope you found this video helpful and if you did leaving a like and subscribing like i said will provide you with more videos gameplay and content coming very soon we're also getting ready to open up our Discord server to a lot of our members, so that will be coming very soon as well, so that way we can interact a little bit more outside of these videos on YouTube and build what we're calling this Team Silverback community. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that and you're joined already, and if not, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.